Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion. What we have here is one of the largest and latest 3D monitors available in the market. It is an Acer HN274H 3D monitor. It is compatible with NVIDIA's 3D solution, which means that it has a 120Hz refresh rate. But what makes this a different 3D monitor than the rest is that it has a built-in 3D vision emitter inside the panel. So you don't need a separate emitter plugged in through the USB of your computer to get your 3D vision either games or movies running. Once you open the box you can see that there are plenty of connector cables but we're going to put those aside for a bit and pull out the 3D vision glasses that are included. As you can see we don't since we don't need there's no separate emitter we don't need the small USB device and this is what is inside the box you can see that there is a uh, appears to be a holder pouch for your glasses USB cable for charging and these are for your interchangeable nose pieces and underneath, see a separate compartment, are the 3D glasses themselves. Inside the box we can see the panel itself protected with a sheet of styrofoam and the documentation including the quick guide and the full user's manual, service manual, and the CD containing quick start guide the, also has the user manual in PDF form and the software needed to read that. Of course, in order to use the monitor, there is also the base that we have to install. And uh, we're going to do it right now since uh, it's actually pretty, fairly straightforward. And you can see there are three prongs in there. And the bottom part has a screw that you can put in. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the monitor forward and uh, see there's three prongs in there. We just simply match it and secure with the screw in the middle. Just keep rotating until we tighten it completely. You might if you if you'd like to be more secure you, you can use a tool with uh, like a flathead screwdriver but uh, this should as you can see it's actually pretty sturdy already at the back of the Acer HN274H you can find an information sheet this is a sticker that is on the back it lists the model number version power rating part number manufacturing date and serial number of your monitor. In here you'll also find the DC input and an audio input for the built-in speakers. For the power, Acer provides a Delta Electronics adapter which you attach on the DC input while the other end has plugs in to the wall through a three-pronged power connector. At the back you will find three different input ports for your display. One is an HDMI 1.4A, another one is a dual link DVI port, and a third one is a VGA port. Acer provides cables uh, in the accessory package so that you can use any of these ports right out of the box. These two HDMI ports on the left side is fully compliant with 3D specifications and uh, can be used for Blu-ray 3D or PS3. The Acer HN274H 3D monitor comes with a built-in IR emitter that uses NVIDIA 3D Vision technology. This emitter is located in the middle part of the top bezel, so make sure to not cover this area when you are playing. Controls for the HN274H 3D monitor can be found on the lower right hand corner. You have the power button 
but there are also five touch sensitive buttons which uh, you just need to hover your finger on top of them to activate it you actually don't need to press hard on it very much we have uh, first uh, the first button at the far left uh, if you press it you can see actually there's five of them as you can see there are the options available the first one is the Acer and power icon and it's basically a bunch of presets for your uh, HN274 H3 monitor uh, you can adjust it uh, left and right uh, you have the eco for power saving and uh, you have a standard graphics movie and the default is user so we'll exit that and uh, let's find the second one is an automatic tuning obviously and the uh, third one is uh, where you see the bulk of the options you have your uh, Acer uh, color management it actually defaults to uh, brightness the default is uh, 100 and about uh, the contrast is about 40 I think it's the same if you if you if you enter 3d mode the brightness automatically enters uh, is set to 100 and cannot be controlled but the contrast can be changed while you're in 3d mode so let me just go back there again and uh, get the first tab first uh, so, and, oh, sorry that's uh, it's hard when you don't uh, notice where the buttons are. <laughs> it takes a little bit of time to get used to it. Uh, there you go. You have color management. Of course, it'll take us back to the uh, empower icon, whatever uh, empower menu, the presets that will take us there. And uh, so just a timeout so it doesn't. Uh, and then uh, enter that. Then, of course, brightness, contrast and the horizontal position and vertical position and focus and clock cannot be accessed uh, might require the uh, uh, the advanced uh, backdoor access to do that you also have the color temperature at the bottom of course uh, the default is warm you have a cool or a user yeah, let's go back with that of course, auto configure is right now, but uh, there's also, if you remember, the auto configure uh, button on the main menu is actually the second button. So let's go back out. Actually, uh, let's go to the second tab. We have the OSD timeout. I have 10 seconds and a 3 notification. Uh, if you run your, uh, once you've uh, tried to open a 3D program, uh, that notification will pop up right at the bottom. I'll demonstrate it later and uh, I'll, maybe I'll just take a photo of it. So as you can see uh, what it looks like, just to remind the user that they're in entering 3D mode. And the next part is you know, other settings like full uh, wide mode, uh, DDC, ACM, Advanced Color Management is uh, currently off as a default. And input uh, tells you which, uh, you can select which uh, input you want to use. I'm currently, since I'm connecting to the PC, I have it set to uh, DVI, but you can you can switch to HDMI. Uh, there's three HDMI ports here, two in the back and uh, one in the back and three one two on the side, and they're all support 1.4A full 3D uh, for a PS3 or uh, or your Blu-ray device. Okay. That's pretty good. And uh, language and IR mode, I have it in consumer. Uh, you'll do the IR mode is of course uh, native to uh, the NVIDIA uh, 3D technology. You've seen the uh, if you're if you've used uh, NVIDIA 3D Vision before, then you're familiar with how it works. It actually um, you you can set it to let's see, let's go back there uh, down and here we go. Uh, LAN is if there's multiple uh, um, infrared emitters in the room and normal is for just a single use consumer is if there is uh, other devices like your remote control maybe or your TV that might interfere with the signal so and uh, and the last one is of course the reset to reset it to factory defaults 